what's up everyone? I'm here at Venice Beach, 7 a.m. Just got done filming a crazy ass video in the pit. And I ran into, I gotta say, he's probably, he is the top natural bodybuilder I've ever met. This guy's a monster and he's young. I believe he's 22 years old and this guy has so much size. It, honestly, it's hard to believe he's natural. Actually, I kind of question if he's natural, but he swears that he's natural, so you know. Eh, I don't know if I believe him to be honest with you, but you know, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's natural. But I'm telling you, if this guy's natural, he looks insane. So uh, I'm trying to get him to come over here and join me. Yo! And uh, introduce him to you guys. This guy is a monster. What's, What's up? up? How you doing, brother? Good, man. So uh, this, his name is Boston Lloyd, and you know he claims natural. And uh, you've been a natural body your whole life. Body yeah, body. since I started at 17, just I never really had the, I really just never had the urge to use. I mean, I never, uh -huh. you know what I mean? I thought, you know, it's kind of cheating and I don't know, like, you know, there's a lot of people that look great naturally and I thought I could do it myself, so I just kept going with it. Yeah, I got to hand it to you, man, because, you know, I've been, I've been taking steroids for like 25 years and I, I don't know if I could do it natural, man. I got to hand it to you. Yeah, big, I mean, big, just, big props, bro. You know, I think the big thing is, you know, what I do is I write my programs down every uh -huh. day. I make sure. Well, let, let me take a look at this program. I got to okay. see what your program is. So you're all, you're all, got your all, whole, whole. I'm all regimented. Everything's regimented. Like I think, you know, every every week I should be going up a little bit in weight or more reps, or I'll switch it up from high volume to low volume. Everything's switching. Mind muscle confusion. Uh -huh. See, so yeah, I'll show you. It's on my phone. I got everything uh -huh. coming up and stuff. Let me see. Whoa, what the fuck oh is that, dude? Oh my god, dude, what is that? Oh my god. What is that, a fucking syringe, bro? Oh my god, this is... And it's fucking three cc's! <laughs> you don't, this, this, is for a friend. this is for a friend, though. I mean, this a is for a Okay, a yeah. friend. All right, we'll give you the benefit of yeah, that on that one. Friend. So yeah, here's my program. So, about that syringe, man. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if I can let that slide, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. This is, this is just uh, flaxseed oil, you know? So, also, you know, I also heard through the grapevine that you do this... That you're dieting, you believe in. Uh, I can't even know what the if fuck it, they call it, if but it fits your macros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you just can eat whatever the fuck yeah, you want. Yeah, you just. I just literally eat whatever the fuck I want as long as it fits my macros. I usually go to a buffet, uh -huh. you know, in the morning, and then I go to a buffet at night. So I only eat two times a day. Uh -huh. I make sure they have pop tarts there. Uh -huh. uh, eat a couple pop tarts to fit my carbohydrates. Uh, for chicken, uh, for protein, I eat chicken, but it's fried chicken, so okay. I calculate it into my fat grams. So as long as you get your calories for Correct. the day, it doesn't matter where it comes from. Correct. It's just so basically fried chicken and pop tarts. I eat it twice a day. Fits my macros. My macros right now are like 350 protein, 150 fat, and about 250 carbs. So I get all that crap in with pop tarts and all this junk. And okay. you know, that's what and I basically get. you get the same results eating junk as you would eating like chicken Correct. breast, rice, oatmeal, Correct. egg with, whites. Correct. And you know you don't get the cravings. You know, I've, I've heard a lot of people doing this diet, you know, and it didn't make any sense to me. But hearing it coming from you and looking yeah. like this, maybe I should give this a try. And just I think, I think, I mean, everyone needs to try it. I think pop tarts, they're whole, cheesecake. Yeah. Cheesecake, yeah, whatever you whatever you want. I mean, you can literally eat anything, and as long as it fits into your micronutrients, you're, you're good to go. Fuck, I might give that a try then. Yeah, you should try it. All right, enough bullshit. I'm here with Boston Lloyd. He's the man. And uh, how long have you been taking shit for? 17, I'm 22, so five years. Five years, you know what? To be as big as he is, taking shit for five years, I don't give a fuck. That's fucking amazing. So yeah, I've been competing since I was 17. You started competing at 19 or? or yeah. I started competing at 15. Oh my God. Yeah, so but you I- you were uh, natural. I was natural at 15. <laughs> I was a skinny ass 180. What's up, big boy? <laughs> yeah, what's up? You are a big monster. Come here, get this shit from me. Let's see how bad you are. Come here, come here, boy. Come on. Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want it? Get it. <laughs> Miller's? Smithers. Smithers. What's up, big boy? That's a that's a What's that's up? He's a badass. <laughs> 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 Why are you really like this, dude? Sorry. Come on, You're from Venice Pop Rocks, right? Yes. Yeah, I remember you. Really? Yeah, I'm taking your photo. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does all the photos. Oh, serious? Yeah. Awesome. Where were we at? Oh, your program. Oh, fuck your program. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My just, drug program. All you do is you just fucking eat, train, and, sleep, and inject, and inject, and that's exactly. it. That, that's all your all secret. It. Yeah. <laughs> I'm and I'm actually currently getting ready for three shows, so my gear dosages will definitely. Well, that's most people's secret. They just don't say it. Yeah. You know what just, I mean? They just don't. They don't come out with it. They keep it fake, to fake natties. <laughs> No, man, but uh, we're going to do a training video together, right? Yeah, we'll do a training video, and whatever you want, we can train arms, whatever you want. 
So we're gonna we're gonna go in the gym. We're gonna kill it. We're gonna have a good time, and we're gonna show everyone what's up. And uh, we're gonna do many more videos because we got a lot of shit to talk about. We have a lot in common. Uh, my parents were both bodybuilders. His parents were bodybuilders. He was raised in a bodybuilding family, so he was three, four years old, seeing his parents You're compete, the, guest posing yes, at the shows at, at like six, 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 six years seven. old. So I mean, he's got he's in deeper than I am. Yeah. Because I, I was at Gold's Gym at six, and um, you know, started training at eleven, and started competing at fifteen. That's we'll see. But I remember seeing you on stage at six years old. Yeah. That was, but then one of my yeah, I started at six, guest posed from six to eight. Then when my parents divorced, we fell out of that, and then I got back into it at seventeen. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember running into you at, at World Gym. World Gym. World no, no, Powerhouse. Powerhouse. Powerhouse, Powerhouse, Powerhouse. Powerhouse. We ran into each other. Yes. And I didn't even recognize you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Because you were you were a bodybuilder. Yeah. I didn't remember seeing you as a bodybuilder, a little kid. Yeah. So it's awesome. So we got a lot of stories, a lot of things in common, and uh, you know we were kind of we were kind of you know drug into the bodybuilding scene. You know our parents yeah. did it, so we looked up to our parents. We were raised in the environment, so it's kind of a unique situation, a different story than most people have. Uh, you know we weren't these kids that were picked on in high school and became bodybuilders to get back at those big bullies. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you're both your parents are bodybuilders? I didn't know. Well, that. my stepdad, okay. my, my real mom and my stepdad were competitive bodybuilders. Okay, my mom. stepdad competed in the California the year Troy Zucalotto won. Okay. And he got uh, sixth place. Okay. So everyone gets sixth place. <laughs> six. You don't make top five. I got six. But back then, his sixth place physique would probably win an overall. Yeah, these yeah, days. yeah, yeah. The California used to be an insane. Now show. it's like really weak. Yeah, yeah, it's a shit show. It's still got a good title, but it's yeah. a shit show. So, uh, so yeah, we got a lot in common, a lot of things to talk about. And uh, a lot of people don't know this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it because I want to talk about it. But uh, he he was a he was a, an incredible high school wrestler. So uh, you went states, right? Well, I, I did. I was I could I was undefeated, but then I actually quit wrestling. Yeah. To be do my first show, which was this show, which uh -huh. I ended up winning my teen class. Yeah. So I quit. They, I quit wrestling because what happened is I kept ditching wrestling for the gym yeah they said you're gonna have to do like 20 laps and 100 push-ups or something stupid if you want to if you want to continue i was actually undefeated at the time it was at the end of the season and i said fuck it i'm out and yeah i did my first show and thank god it played it paid off back yeah perfectly. i just want to throw that out there because uh this guy talks a lot of shit but you know what <laughs> i gotta say that he can back that shit up man because he's a badass wrestler right? i've never that's the thing online though when people threaten me and shit i don't i would never even Go that way on Facebook. Yeah. I never threaten back. Yeah. Somebody says they're gonna want to find me and kick my ass. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I don't. You know, it's yeah. not even worth fight, like arguing with people. It's not worth it. And if they come up to you somewhere and want to kick your ass, it's never. That's another down, thing. That's another thing. I've, said, I've had like hundreds of people threaten me on Facebook, and I've never had any problem in person ever. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the same as me. I'm. You know, I have all kinds of haters out there, and they yeah. talk shit. But when I'm at a booth and see 2,000 people, yeah. I don't meet one of those yeah, people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, they're probably the ones that are coming up and saying, "Hey, uh -huh. like, I'm your biggest fan." Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, I wait for the day that that happens, but I'm probably gonna get kicked out of the expo and taken to jail. You know, because I'm gonna put up with no shit. But uh, hey, man, it was great talking sure. to you. I'm looking forward to that video. Yep, for sure, training video. All right.